In Coronado High School, one group is chosen to capture all aspects of cougar life. These filmmakers are dedicated to their jobs and may be better known as the Special Video Unit. These are their stories. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Cougar TV. I'm Sam Strait. And I'm Alex Johnson. Have you ever wondered what happened to our graduated Cougars? What they've been up to? We managed to get an interview with a Cougar TV graduate who is starting a photography business, 626 Studios. Hi, my name is Lakeith Trainer, and I run a studio. Uh, we're downtown here in the Springs, directly next to uh, King Chef Diner. Currently, I'm working on a horror movie, since, you know, tis the season. And um, right now, I'm trying to gather a lot of um, crew and actors and stuff. Well, my goal is to have it completely done by the end of October. I saw this ad on Craigslist for a studio needing a new tenant for 180 a month. And so I was just like, oh, you know, I'm trying to get into photography or in video work and stuff and so I was like ah, I'll go look it out look at it saw it it was incredible <laughs> and I'm just like 180 a month and I'm just handed them the money like that instant and just like give me it the senior year really opened up uh, I did Cougar TV I was the head anchor for the entire year along with my best friend Xavier Romero uh, I did theater and choir and basically those three things really shaped my future you know like originally I was planning to go to school and become like a tradesman or an engineer but now I just want to do something artistic, you know? So I've really been focusing my studies on um, music production, video production, photography, um, acting, and all this other stuff because I just, it's what I want to do with my life now. Wow, with all that equipment, I imagine they will produce some great content. Now, let's check in with Sam for sports. Boys soccer lost to the Liberty Lancers, three to nothing. Boys tennis beat Fountain Fort Carson, seven nothing. Volleyball beat Pine Creek, 3-0. Softball lost to Pine Creek, 21-4. And football lost to the Pueblo West Cyclones, 49-7. Speaking of sports, we caught up with the tennis legend, the great, and the ever-so-talented Mr. Phillipson. Usually during the season we have about two meets a week. Depends. On a busy week we might have three with a tournament or like this week trying to make up matches we were scheduled for four but I think the big thing is to just give them some tough matches before regionals so that when we get up there we we feel ready and we feel like we played some good opponents we've talked about kind of the scouting report and the other teams we're gonna see at regionals and, and really trying to help them understand uh, the quality of teams that are guaranteed to be in our region and the, the teams will have to beat to go to state. We had four team goals this season uh, that were set by the team and myself, so we did it kind of all together. One was to win 15 matches, which we play today, a team we can beat, and as long as we get to finish that match, we should win our 15th match of the year. To finish second in our region, which regionals is next week, that means we have at least a few players going to state. 
um, get more than one player to state, which kind of goes along with that getting second at region. And then the last one was to beat Pine Creek. I never knew our tennis team was so great. Are you searching for a job or looking for something to do? What about finding a way to better the community? Then ACE is the place for you. Let's check it out. I am Betsy Rather. Um, ACE is a class that stands for Alternative Cooperative Education but it's been at Coronado for a number of years. It's designed to help students um, get ready for their post-secondary workforce readiness skills. So we teach a lot of um, basic job exploration um, type of projects and interviewing skills. But we also talk about, um, again, job interviewing, grooming, um, getting your own place, you know, knowing how to live outside of, you know, not living in your mom and dad's basement forever, and uh, buying a car, uh, doing your taxes, things that are just real life and relevant to um, young people. So my classes are filled with juniors and seniors. We may be taking it um, to sophomores next year, but for now it's an upper class um, curriculum. One of the purposes of my class is to get kids ready as they get ready to graduate high school and, and move on with their post-secondary career, whether they're going into, um, if they're going to go to college, either a four-year college or a two-year college, or if they're just going to go straight to work or perhaps um, an apprenticeship if they want to become maybe um, an HVAC person or electrician, a plumber, those kinds of things. I give them some real work life, uh, workplace experiences. So we have speakers come in and talk and we offer field trips outside of the community, like Construction Days was our recent um, field trip where kids got to go on a construction day and experience different um, jobs and careers that would be associated with um, all kinds of um, construction type of jobs. And, um, you know, we do different industries throughout the year with different panels, business panels, medical panels, um, IT, cyber technology, information panels. So really just trying to give kids an opportunity to learn what's out there because when you're, you know, 16, 17, 18, you don't always know what you want to do. So we'd like to provide some opportunities to find out what else is out there as you get ready to exit uh, Coronado. I never knew that there was a class out there with such great opportunities. Well, that wraps up another episode of Cougar TV. I'm Sam Strait. And I'm Alex Johnson. Join us next week to find out what's happening in your hallways. Stay, Stay classy, classy, Coronado. Coronado. I thought that was good. I thought it was good, but... Eh. Could be better. Yeah.